Here's our little game that we did together when we learned about squares. So you're not just teaching the shapes, but you're also teaching the numbers, about numbers at the same time, even teaching about multiplication. So this is a good um, little introduction. So first of all, I asked him to find one square. So he looked for one square. Here's one little square. I asked him to make him to make a square using the twos. So he got a two. He knows that the color two is always orange. Two. How am I going to make a square with that? So he put two together, and we talked about a square is with two twos, one ones. Then I said, "Can you make a square with the threes?" So he tried. Oh, is this a square? No. Two threes. We need how many threes to make a square? Three threes. So we need one ones, two twos, three threes. And then we counted each one. Four, nine. So it's also a good little uh, multiplication game, even though they don't know what they're doing. And how many fours did we need? And by this time, he knew that four fours was going to be a square. So he picked it up pretty fast, but he had lots of fun actually building the squares. And this, this is good for teaching sizes and multiplication and even skip counting. Two, four, three, six, nine, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So we went and we did that together. And then we did our fives. How many fives do we need? And he realized he put together five fives. And then I didn't have more of the sixes or sevens. I didn't have enough of those. So I only have four or five of each. And then we did our tens. How many tens do we need to make a square? And he put it together and made ten tens. Makes a square, which is also the same as the hundreds. Ten tens makes a hundred. And we reviewed our skip counting. So while you're learning about squares and shapes, try to involve your numerals as well and your big numbers. So. Um, you're doing two things at once and you can add variety and loads of fun.